everybody, it's Hillary. Let's imagine that we're all eating a banana. After you eat a banana, what's left over? The peel. Now let's imagine we're making scrambled eggs. What's left over? The shells. What do people normally do with banana peels and eggshells? Maybe throw them away. But is there anything else we could do with these food scraps? Make compost. But what exactly is compost? In a nutshell, compost is a natural way to recycle organic material like vegetable scraps and yard waste into a nutrient-rich soil we can feed to our plants. It's so rich that farmers have nicknamed compost black gold. Beyond the value that compost has for gardeners and farmers, it plays an essential role in keeping food out of our landfills. One third of what New Yorkers throw away is food waste and yard scraps. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, 76 billion pounds of food end up in landfills and combustion facilities each year. That's more than any other item in our everyday trash. Organic waste in landfills generates a potent greenhouse gas called methane. This is harmful for us and for the environment. By composting our organics, methane emissions are significantly reduced. But it's important to know, a compost pile is much more than just a pile of food scraps. It requires care and a balance of nutrients. All compost begins with four main ingredients. Green plant matter we call greens, brown plant matter we call browns, air, and water. Greens can be any fresh plant material such as fruit and vegetable scraps or lawn clippings. Even though they aren't literally green, tea bags and coffee grounds are also in this group. Browns can be any dried plant material such as dead leaves, straw, sawdust, or shredded newspaper. The decomposers that break down your greens and browns need air to survive. The way we add air to our compost system is by mixing or turning it regularly. These decomposers also need water. Your compost should feel like a wrung out sponge. At this point, you might be wondering who or what are these decomposers? Well, I like to call them the FBI, and that stands for fungus, bacteria, and insects. These days, we are hearing a lot about bacteria in relation to germs, but not all bacteria are bad. In fact, in a compost system, bacteria are doing most of the work, even though they're invisible to the naked eye. Without decomposers, all life would stop because plants wouldn't get the nutrients needed to grow. Decomposers turn our garbage into plant food. In this way, valuable nutrients are returned to nature instead of shipping them away to a landfill. Oftentimes, gardeners will have a big pile or large wooden bins to make their compost, but since we're all trying to stay indoors, I'm gonna show you a way that you can make your own black gold right at home. To do this activity, you will need a plastic freezer bag, two cups of browns, one cup of greens, one tablespoon of soil, and a spray bottle with water. First, put your greens, browns, and soil into the bag. Mist everything inside the bag with water until the browns are moist but not soggy. They should feel like a wrung out sponge. Seal the bag tightly, then write the date on the bag. Over the next few weeks, you should massage the bag daily to mix up the ingredients. You should also open the bag every other day for six hours to aerate it. Take notes about whatever changes you see to the materials as they decompose. And in two to eight weeks, you should have compost. You'll know it's ready to use when it's dark brown in color and has an earthy smell. You can sprinkle it around the base of any of your house plants or bring it outside and put it around the trunk of a tree in your neighborhood to give it some added nutrients. For more information about how to compost in New York City, Check out nyc.gov slash composting.